oh my god it's opening day i'm literally shaking and i'm about to enter galaxy's edge and i'm going to record like the whole box through of it but i'm literally shaking oh my god oh I know I'm not gonna be able to get on anything. The wait times are really long for Millennium Falcon, but I just came to want to walk and oh my god. I literally can't breathe. But oh my god. so hard to get a boarding group this morning while I had class and it was all like uh, oh you can't do it outside the park or whatever and all of a sudden I'm driving and it says get here by 1120 and you can get in and wow I cannot believe this so I'm freaking out right now because we are at the Millennium Falcon. Can you believe that? The ride right now is 180 minute wait, so I'm not waiting for that. I knew I wasn't going to ride anything opening day. I knew I just wanted to come walk around and check it out, but look at this. Let's get up close and personal. Thank you. 
buy the chips or anything? Stuff, so I'm not going to get the milk. Um, Tim Tracker already did a review on the green and the blue milk. So if you're interested, go watch his video, which you guys probably already have watched his video about Star Wars Galaxy to Edge. Oh, there's one that's that over I'm just trying to get some soda. Oh, this is where I can get some soda. I'm actually, I lied. I'm gonna wait in line for one thing. I'm gonna get soda. Because I want the models, remember this day forever. So like, I'm over there and I just stay and I relax by the river. Exactly, it's like a stress-free zone. It's the best thing ever. I love it. If you're ever in Pika, look me up. You too. Bryce Sun Traveler. Hi, can I get a Coke, Diet Coke, and a water? Coke, Diet Coke, and water? Yes, please. So I got a Coke, a Diet Coke, and the water to keep as a memory of today but just keep in mind that each bottle is five dollars except for I uh, yeah no I think they're all five dollars uh, 15 times 3 is no 5 times 3 is 15 correct that's what I just spent so that's three of them so I don't do math okay just know that the total was fifteen dollars after getting three things to drink but so worth it for the experience uh, I've walked around basically the entire thing. There are two entrances. Well, there's a main entrance. The main entrance is the one that they're going to pull you through to come in to Batu. But you can also exit into Toy Story Land. Sorry, I'm getting really close. I feel like you can't hear me because it's very, very loud. So I think if I go that way, that is how I exit. But I wanted to show you guys something that looked really really cool that I didn't get to film because I was on FaceTime with my girlfriend to show her how cool it looked but I'm going to show you now and then I'll be heading out of Batu. So this area is the marketplace and it is packed. The streets are not the widest but there's space to move around but in here there is restrooms, there are different shops, different areas. I'm not going to walk all the way back through it because it's a lot of people right now but look how cool. Disney did such a good job detailing everything, honestly. It's beautiful and realistic. I feel like I feel like I'm actually in a Star Wars movie. We'll stay right here. But so yeah, I'm not gonna keep going in there. Everyone went in there once, just didn't film it, but there's a lot of people in there right now and it's very loud. So I think I'm just gonna head on out for the day. But honestly, 
this has been phenomenal like I didn't think that the land was gonna be this amazing I mean I did think it was gonna be amazing because Disney's doing it but I didn't think I'd feel this immersed or shaken up because honestly like I've been shaking the whole time that we've been in here and I, I just I don't have words for how amazing it felt to be immersed in a land that doesn't even exist yet really in the movies and Disney came up with this from scratch and it is beautiful I have fallen in love with it and once the crowds calm down I want to come in here when it's cooler outside and you know the winter season and actually enjoy and ride and walk around and take some fun pictures but because it is packed so many people as you can see it is hard to get any pictures without people in the background so you know I really don't have time to fight for a picture but I just really want to come in here and see everything and just feel part of the Star Wars like, galaxy and just to be completely part of it but it's also a pretty big land like there are a lot of corners and nooks and crannies uh, that we'll get to explore more once the crowds kind of die down which I feel like this is gonna attract crowds for a while honestly because obviously it's amazing so uh, crowds are gonna be attracted to this area for a while but once things calm down I'm gonna be popping in here a lot because it is honestly so so beautiful and I this is something I've been waiting for since it was announced at D23 years ago and I, I'm not disappointed guys like this is probably the best thing Disney has done next to Pandora like it's 10 times better than Pandora so make sure you guys come check out Galaxy's Edge honestly um, you don't have to buy merchandise here there's already been merchandise that we've been seeing in the outlets here in Orlando that say Galaxy's Edge 2019 on it so you guys can go ahead and go there to find some merchandise because the lines here are very long for merchandise but what you just saw is the transition between Grand Avenue and Galaxy's Edge and that is it folks we are saying goodbye to Galaxy's Edge for today it is opening day August 29th 2019 and honestly today I'll never forget